I've been waiting so long for these to finally drop, and I'm so glad that they did. These are Google's best when it comes to wearable audio gear and probably the best pair that you can buy under $200. They've got the comfort, the features, and most importantly, the sound to back this all up. So introducing the Google Pixel Buds Pro, the best earbuds under $200. Let's dive right in. The exterior design consists of plastic, with a very solid build overall. The case itself has this matte finish to it, and regardless of which color you end up going for, you will always get white case for your buds. That's why I went with the black buds. The contrast here is just my preference. I would have liked a white pair though. Now, with that said, this case is really tough until you drop it and start noticing scuffs on it, so do be careful with this case. Now, the buds themselves have a matte finish, and unlike their previous model, we don't get an ear hook with these. I thought that I would end up missing that hook, but surprisingly, that was not the case. I find these to be much more comfortable as a result, since I do recall the hook kind of just like digging into my ears, and it would get very uncomfortable causing a lot of discomfort. Plus, these do hang onto my ears pretty well as they are. I'm impressed with the fit and comfort so far, and I've had these for a little while now. So when it comes to features, we've got wireless charging, active noise cancellation, ambient sound, and different EQ settings that trigger automatically depending on the volume of your buds, some water and sweat resistance for the buds themselves, and a full set of touch gestures, along with Google Assistant support. Everything that I just mentioned does work very well, but let's go ahead and talk about those gestures for a little bit. So like I said, these have a full set of gestures, and you can just single tap to play media or answer a phone call. And you can double tap to go to the next track, end the phone call, or stop your Google Assistant. And you can triple tap to go to the previous track. Swipe forward to raise volume, then swipe backwards to lower your volume. And you can also hold to toggle between active noise cancellation and transparency mode. This is all pretty awesome, and the gestures are, are very responsive. And never have I made a mistake when trying to trigger any of the gestures as these just do the job so accurately. These handle gestures, in my opinion, way better than the AirPods Pro do, considering that they are easier to execute and are more ergonomic to manage. So, yeah, I love that. So let's get into the meat and potatoes of this re review. And that would be the sound quality. So what do the Google Pixel Buds Pro really sound like? Like always, I will try my best to describe what they sound like to you, what I hear from these with different genres. These sounds incredible. I wasn't expecting this much audio separation from these since the last pair that we got was more lacking and could even come across as sounding somewhat muddy. But the audio sounds great. If I'm listening to metal, which is the genre of music with the most complexity that I listen to, and besides orchestras, then I can hear every instrument just fine with good separation between them. I feel the distance between the instruments for the most part, which is really nice to hear. With simpler genres like hip-hop, pop, ballads, etc., these will impress very easily. They sound bright with a good amount of bass to complement the greatness that you already hear from these. Honestly, I really love how these sound and I think that they did a fantastic job like this. Now, they have had a couple of opportunities to give us sound quality like this in the past, considering that this is their fourth pair of Google Buds, I want to say. This is a very vast improvement, even from their last generation. Now let's get into noise canceling. It's really good with these earbuds. I live in New York City, so sometimes if I'm walking, I can hear the stupid train passing by, and it's very aggressive when it does. These buds dampen the sound of the train so much that it sounds like white noise to me. It's that good. You don't want to listen to conversations near you? Then just turn on noise canceling, and it'll it'll take you out of any situation. Seriously, I can hardly hear anything at all while wearing these, and it's really impressive. So Google's first attempt at noise canceling is far too good, and it's so far my favorite favorite instance of noise canceling when it comes to earbuds like this in general. So ambient noise is also really good because I can hear things pretty clearly from the outside if I want that feature on. Now I don't like using it on any pair, but it works. 
and it works really well here. Now the battery life on these is pretty good overall. Ac actually, it's really good. You can get about 10 hours on a single full charge from these for a total of around 30 hours I want to say with charges from the case. But 10 hours on a single charge is pretty nuts, but this is with ANC off. With ANC on, I get around 7 hours, maybe closer to 8 from my experiences, so I still think that it is pretty nuts to get that kind of battery life out of these buds. So as you can see, I really like the Google Pixel Buds Pro and have little to no complaints about them. This is probably my ideal pair of earbuds and I managed to accomplish that for under $200. I haven't said that about any other pair that I have tested, and if you've been part of this channel for a while, then you will know that I have tested too many earbuds in this market. These are my favorites, and I can strongly recommend them if you're on Android, especially on Pixel, since I think that you will be very happy with these, as long as they fit of course. So thank you so much for watching this video all the way up until the very end. I do very much appreciate it. Um, I can't leave affiliate links to these down below, but I am still going to leave links to Google's own website so you can buy them directly from there. I did not get a kickback or anything from that since unfortunately I don't think Google has an affiliate program. But there you have it. And I do have a couple of other channels that you might be interested in as well. I do have a podcasting channel. Episodes come out every single Friday, so please make sure to drop in over there. They're more so long-form content where I talk about uh, trending tech topics and that kind of thing, so please make sure to stop by. And also, I do have a vlogging channel, which is more so about things that I like to do and, and that kind of thing, if that is something that interests you. So links down below. And please make sure to follow me on Twitch where I do stream every Wednesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Though recently I have been actually streaming earlier. I've been streaming at around 7 p.m. ish Eastern time that is. Uh, so yeah, please make sure to follow me there. And I do also post on Instagram every now and then. So why not give me a follow there too. But with that said, this has been Francisco from Tech Summit. Thank you for watching and until next time, enjoy.